Jackie Singh. You thought, hopefully this will be the last we hear of this poo in the loo. Did I talk about this last stream? I don't think I did. This was too recent. Um, Jackie Singh. Uh, oh, I remember. Okay, so last last stream I talked about how Tor Swats got arrested. He was a California boy. He was not a Swedish man. And you would think, ha 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 ha. Uh, her and Jim Stewartson looked like fools. They fake doxed this guy. They got it completely wrong. FBI proved that she got it wrong. Uh, now, isn't she going to have to eat some crow and admit that she is not a super hacker Pajit expert? No, a stalker child. Jackie Singh will not admit that she's a retard. She will instead double down and insist that the Swedish guy is actually a second member known as Tor Swats. Uh, she will persist in accusing him of being a mass swatter. Uh, the problem is, is that he has come out and he has rejected this hypothesis. Um, I will try to summarize this very, very briefly because I've looked at it and I'm not 100% convinced uh, about what's happening, but this is what the allegation is. There is a second account on Telegram called Tor Swats Returns, and it uses like this spooky jump scare avatar, and it was very, very obsessed with Jackie Singh for a long time. And then the day that Tor Swats got arrested and the Swedish guy said that that account might be Jackie Sings, she starts talking about Patrick Tomlinson or the account starts talking about Patrick Tomlinson. Uh, there are some logs that indicate that it might be her account. And she is deliberately, according to this guy, trying to frame him as being Tor Swats returns by running the account herself uh, and saying incriminating things on it to make her own dark black hat or white hat uh, hacker thing um, more of a valid theory. Uh, so let's show on stream. I will show you the tweets. Uh, can I actually, let me pull up the ghost archive. I think that this has the entire, this is like a new archiving site that people have been using more than archive.is lately because it, um, is more stable. Let's see. So, uh, Cher Scarlett said, Jackie Singh has spent the last year doxing and orchestrating a mass harassment campaign against the Swedish man and his family, claiming with no evidence that he was a hacker called Tor Torspots. The actual hacker, a teenager in California, has been caught. Dushatar has said, Thank you, it's been rough. Cher replies saying, I hope you get some peace now, finally. And Dushatar replies saying, sadly, no. She seems to have doubled down on her claim. I'm not sure if she even believes it herself anymore. Rather, she is too proud to admit she was wrong. And then Mike, uh, who I do not know, replies to this with the tour swat returns. Uh, she's changed the display picture from the jump scare to the uh, mugshot and says, um... And this is, oh, okay, so this DM from Dushatar, who is the Swedish man she's accusing of being Tor Swats, was sent to Jackie Singh asking her if she was ready to admit she was wrong. And then the uh, Tor Swats return Telegram account says, Jackie Singh owes me an apology. I'm not stopping until I get one. Uh, now, the incriminating element of this is that it is a DM to Jackie Singh that she is now showing from the recipient side on Tor Swats and the person who's posting this as Tor Swats is showing that screenshot from Jackie Singh's perspective while talking in the first person perspective of Dushatar. Uh, so that is the. That's a shit skin. I don't know who he is. Uh, he might be in Sweden. I, I don't know who this guy is. Uh, he, he is Swedish, though, apparently. Uh, but he says. That is my actual reply to her from when she asked me to DM her yes, which means two things. One, her supposed conversations with Tor Svats are fake. She's talking to herself. And two, she has gone from argu arguably just being numb to actually falsifying evidence. Riz Chungus, which is an excellent name, says, if you post a screenshot of this DM from here, that would be the silver bullet. And then, um, oh, sorry, I got this wrong. Uh, so th this is actually... Jackie, is this Jackie? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, no, no I did get that right. So, this is Dushikar asking her if she was willing to admit that she was wrong. 
And then he asks if there's a way to contact the FBI about this. Um, so there you go. That is the current allegation. I cannot speak to its merits, but uh, the Tor Swats return account claiming to be Dash Dashatar uh, has posted a screenshot from Jackie Singh's perspective, um, which would indicate that the poster is Jackie Singh. And that is what he is claiming, that she is so proud that she's going to try and forge evidence that he is a mass serial swatter in order to admit, in order to avoid admitting that she was wrong. Um, excellent. Good job, Jackie. Heck of a, heck of a job, Brownie. Dude, that's such a dismissive statement. When, when black people or Indians or whatever are doing something that you want to like mockingly approve of, just say, you're doing a heck of a job, Brownie. <laughs> Cause then if anyone calls you out on this, you can just say, well, it's a George Bush quote, literally, but you can, it's subtle. It's very subtle, Chad, is what I'm saying. She's going to get away with it. I don't know. Um, apparently, Tor Swats was the guy who was pretending to be Lane Lambright. I can't I can't remember if Lane Lambright or Wayne Lambright is the original name, but I think he's the guy who's been going by that pseudonym. That's a play on the the real guy's name. And the FBI had been after him for years. I have gotten I think at least like two, maybe even three, grand jury subpoenas. From the FBI, and I've posted all these in public over the time to say no, but they, they're specific. They, they really want this guy's ass because he's done this hundreds of fucking times. I'm sure if you add up the amount of damage that he like he's done and the resources he's wasted, it's probably millions of dollars at this point. Because he's wait, he's called in hundreds of these fucking things. So, uh, I mean, it's not funny. Like, it's not funny to them. They, they do not. It's a serious crime. Um, it's been prosecuted variously as attempted murder because you're trying to send armed police into this, uh, someone's house when they're not expecting it, which could always unfold in an unfortunate way and result in someone dying. Uh, yeah, he's fucked. He's fucked. Sorry, I just got a text message I had to answer. Um, and that's it for that, I think. I don't think she's replied. Oh, she did reply. Excellent. Open your fat fucking mouth. Jackie Singh, hack, Miss Hack, people like to call her Butt Legal, which is pretty funny. Butt Legal replies and says, posting this update from the Telegram swatter so the world will know who's attempting to murder stealthy geek and his wife and probably swatter those other government officials today too. Strong nexus and linkage with Kiwi Farms. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. It's, it's, you know, it's hard to even say that this is defamation because like Jackie Singh is so uncredible that it would be hard to make the case that anything that she says can be taken seriously or damage someone's reputation. You know what I mean? She's just like such a fucking retard that everyone reads something like this and says, oh, this person's like a fucking retard. Um, I don't know. Anything to shut down Kiwi Farms, I guess. It's a gossip forum, which is basically murder if you think about it. Literally any action against Kiwi Farms is justifiable with that cons with that perspective. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice! <laughs>